Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Once again, I'm coming from the video the community of vintage oaks in New Braunfels, Texas, because my out-of-state client, we're still home shopping. Today's our last day, but he's really liking this video and the community, that's why we're out here. But the house we're looking at today is built by Perry Homes in 2020. It's almost 4,100 square feet, and I've sold a very similar plan to this a few years back. I'll put the link to that up top, but I really like this plan. Uh, let's go on out front and start the tour. All right, this home is on, uh, address is 1820 Bartolino. We're on cul-de-sacs, cul-de-sac down there. Some really nice homes on this street. Uh, via Prince Pals, kind of a main road is right up there. But the main amenity center with the Lazy River and all that stuff, it's just around the corner, literally walking distance or bike riding distance however you want to do it but uh love the front between the stone and stucco this car well it's got full sprinkler system it's got pretty much a four car garage could be kind of tight with it see the two air conditioning units we are on a one acre lot but i do love this part of the community this is on the uh if you want to gas in this community, you have to have a propane tank buried. Well, in this half of the community, the other half natural gas. But this, uh, because of pre existing home, <coughs> pardon me, uh, they did have a propane tank buried. So this is a gas supplied home. All right, check this out. Just a beautiful entrance. They did go for the uh, tile flooring up here. Love how much sitting space you can have. Just really nicely done. Gorgeous doors and both ways. You got nice stone everywhere, plenty of space. The sun will be setting on the front of the house, um, giving you lots of shade on the back of the house. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button and I hope you've already subscribed to my channel. But right when you come in, you do have a really wide hallway. They built the owners, put some, uh, Fancy dancy uh, lighting systems in here, but you do have your formal dining room right up front. There's gonna be another dining room space too, so you opt to do whatever you want to with these rooms. But you also have an office right up front, with really wide French doors. Love that little arch detail they have up there, but a very wide, very big office space. I'm trying to respect everybody's privacy by not showing too much. But this essentially would be your view from the back of the desk. All right, coming on around. Down the main space, like I said, lots of elbow room. Got these two little nooks uh, here so you can do whatever you want. I like they got these little vases in there. But this can be your secondary bedrooms. But they got a little office space kind of built in here as well. Your laundry room, plenty of space. Here's your two secondary bedrooms with a little mini walk-in closets. Tall ceilings in here, eight foot doors. Love the eight foot doors. Love how light it is in this house. This bedroom's gonna have the same type of closet. And they will share this bathroom right here. And of course the toilet seats up because I'm in a rush today. All right, the kitchen, this, when I walked in this house, I immediately knew this was a Perry home because like I said, I've sold one of these before and uh, asking price as of early August, 2024 is 1,145,000. But tons and tons of living space. I love this layout. Lots and lots of lighting coming through here. You got another little dining room space. They kind of did what I would have done, turned into a little bit of a breakfast spot and a bar section back there. I know I've seen some people do this plan and put a little seating area, but let's check out this kitchen. You do kind of a wraparound countertop, an island right in the middle, but plenty of space in between here. Uh, one of my client's pet peeves is some of the houses we've been looking at that were pre-existing is walkway space in between. It's like two people can't cross the same spot, but this house you certainly can. Plenty good size pantry. Lots and lots of neat things in here. 
uh, GE appliance, gas cooktop. You do have a little butler pinch space over here. So if you want to have your coffee stuff set up over there, you could. Even more storage space. This is the mud room coming in from the garage. We kind of mentioned that before. You've got two car garage bays. Yes, if you're trying to put two cars on each side, that's going to be very tight. But you could easily put a car and a motorcycle on each side and have no problem. And it already has a uh, water softener built in. Very handy because, yes, we do have hard water here in Texas. All right. Coming through here, just check out the sink. Big single basin stainless steel sink. They went with the higher end uh, copper finish, finishes there. And this room over here is one of the rooms I really do like. You notice there's not, you can put a TV on these walls, but they've got this whole room kind of set up for just talking and entertaining because you yeah, had nobody talks anymore. But there's probably a TV in that hutch. But they've got a whole nother room here really set up for watching the TV. And you can close these French doors if you're wanting to watch it a little loud. But yeah, lots and lots of space in here. So perfect if you're trying to do a movie room. You definitely can do that real easily. All right, coming back through here. You got your stone fireplace. And I'm not gonna open up their hutch, this isn't my house, but just all the lighting that's coming through here is really nice. And it's such a cool design. One of my favorite designs that Perry did. Um, back here, you've got your guest bedroom set up. So you got another full bedroom. Once again, 10 foot ceilings, and this bedroom's gonna have its own full bath. So yeah, I've got those long-term guests. This will be perfect for it got the shower and their own closet. All right, come on back outside. We're gonna go outside. I think my client's out here talking to his uh, girlfriend, explaining what she, he's seeing here, but that's okay. Lots and lots of space out here. The sun's out here because we're doing this first thing in the morning, so we got the morning sun on us. You could put, these lights are blocked for putting a ceiling fan up there, so you definitely could do that. Uh, I got the nice stone back there making this a fairly level spot. Got a little bit of slope for drainage, but the property lines go back towards that fence there. And you kind of see where those little shrubs are. So yeah, you can see people behind you in this. It's not perfectly private, but uh, it is quiet. And there's where you got your septic tank and you got your house, another house back that direction. All right, we're saving the best for last and that's gonna be the bathroom in the master bedroom, so don't go anywhere. Oh, there's another gas pipe and you can see where they buried the propane tank back that direction. All right, the master bedroom's nice, but the master bathroom's even nicer. Let's head on into there and check that out. Got your powder room. It's not right, right off the main space, but uh, yep. Once again, up toilet seat up, pet peeve, but right there. And then you got your master bedroom. Beautifully done master bedroom. Lots and lots of light in here. And this cat is too freaking cute. I've got to put him in my video. This cat is adorable. Oh, yes, he is. Good God, I'd love to have a kitty cat like that. My cats are just still not very friendly. But my daughter wanted one, wanted them, so she got them. But look at this bathroom. It is gorgeous. Love the symmetry of it. You got a his and her vanity on both sides. I love the fact that these owners put this little stool here just, in, just to fill up the space and it's very practical. Big, beautiful soaking tub, plenty of space. If you wanna put your uh, wine glass, or in my case, a glass of whiskey, you could do that. And a cute little chandelier up there. We do have a walk-in mud inset shower, I meaning it's kinda of cut into the foundation. 
took the tile work all the way to the top and you have a his and her closet to where you don't have to worry about how messy your wife keeps her closet with the off season rack kind of up there as well. So we've got too many jackets. It's gonna be 95 again today. So we're not wearing jackets in Texas right now, but we got the other closet drawers for your socks and stuff. You really could get ready completely in here without leaving the bathroom. So lots and lots of storage in there. All right, love this bedroom. Like I said, beautifully done house. Love the wide entryway. The kitchen with a wraparound countertop. Another dining space or bar area if you want and plenty of space. You've got a guest bedroom back there. All right, I am not the listing agent. I am representing a buyer might be interested in this house. The listing agent's Ashley Jurgensen. So yeah, she is the listing agent representing the seller of this house. All right, that's gonna do it for tour of this beautiful home in Vintage Oaks built by Perry Homes in 2020, 4,100 square feet, absolutely gorgeous home. I'm gonna, my client's gonna be looking at this video, trying to use it to make his final decision because yes, your brain turns to mush if you've been looking at as many houses we have. So we're only doing like their top five houses I'm doing the videos for so they can look them over and decide which one they wanna put an offer on. And if you're looking for a real estate agent that does this type of thing for their clients, feel free to reach out to me and my contact information will be on the slide. Hopefully you liked that video. If you did, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.